so in this presentation we will understand the concept of blog how we can create a blog using wordpress and how it can be used in teaching and learning so what is a blog a blog is also known as a web blog is a website that is like a diary or journal so it is basically a website where the contents will be just like in a diary or a journal the first blog that was an online diary created by Justin Hall in 1994 the title of that blog was links.net the term the web blog was coined by John Barger in 1997 and it was shortened by Peter Maholz in 1999 when we extend the uh, definition of a blog a little bit you can find out it's a regularly updated website and it is typically run by one or uh, one by an individual or a small group of people and that is written in an informal or conversational style so a blog is a regularly updated website which is run by an individual or a small group of people and that is written in an informal or conversational style so how a blog is different from a website a website and a blog there are some difference between a website and a blog when we consider a website the content is static okay and when we consider a blog the content is regularly updated so we can find out a lot of static websites the contents will be static always and in the case of blogs the contents is regularly updated and on a website there is a home page that displays content from several sections of internal website pages but when we think about a blog the th contents will be a chronological listing of blog post okay the chronological listing in the sense that the latest post will appear on the top of the list so and uh, when we consider a website website is very formal and it is non interactive but the blogs are very informal and interactive so it is n websites are non participatory and the communication is one way whereas a blog is a participatory in nature and the communication will be two way it means that you can add some content you can comment on any post or a page so you can interact with the creator of the particular blog so the communication will be two way but in the case of website the content will be static there will be no communication between the creator and the user so it is one way and on a blog you can see a design portfolio where there some static contents will be there just like logo about contact page etc etc whereas in a blog you can find out post archived by date category author tags and sub categories so these are the basic basic concepts or basic things available on a blog at the end we can see that a blog might be a part of a website whereas all blogs are websites you can find out an apt example that is for a website that is www.ncrt.nac.in where an example for a wonderful blog is www.huffpost.com so what are the key concepts behind a blog the first one is the purpose blogs are created for different purposes so you can it can be for a personal publishing it can be for managing content and it can be for collaboration and learning and promotion and publicity so these are the four basic uh, purposes where the people create blogs first one is for personal publishing second for managing content third one for collaboration and learning and fourth one promotion and publicity and another key concept is that authorship a blog can be created by a single people single uh, person it can also created by a group of authors so many people can collaborate together and create or update a blog and and this third concept is regarding the content so the content on a blog will be frequently updated so frequent updates will be available on a blog and the post blog posts or contents are updated in a reverse chronological order it is arranged in a reverse chronological order it means that the, the latest post will appear on the top of the page and uh, you can include any media on a blog so the content is the star in a blog and the what about the connections so 
on a blog you can uh, you can invite comments from the uh, people or the visitors and uh, you can share the content with uh, different uh, social media platforms just like facebook twitter or whatever and uh, you will get a lot of followers and you can create connections you create links so then so based on these key concepts so we are going to create a blog using wordpress so what is wordpress wordpress is an open source content management system that is cms which allows the users to build dynamic websites and blogs so you know about what is a content management system okay so wordpress is basically of uh, two uh, two types that is wordpress.org and wordpress.com wordpress.org where you can create wonderful websites but you have to install that software into your system that is you have to host whereas wordpress.com is basically used for creating blogs okay it is also an open source content management software so actually it was launched by uh, matt mullenberg and mike little in 2003 and in 2009 it became open source the primary website is wordpress.com for the creation of blogs so what is the basic structure of a wordpress blog so to understand to before creating the wordpress blog we should understand what is the basic structure so you can see the basic structure here the top the header will be there with a menu or navigation bar then there will be a main content uh, content area and on the right or left you can find out a sidebar sidebar will consist of uh, social profiles favorite content or call to action and widgets etc etc on the main content page you can put your post your you can add a lot of contents on the main content page and uh, at the bottom of the page you can find out a footer so there are four sections basic uh, sections on a wordpress blog that header main content sidebar and footer on the footer you can add the disclaimer privacy policy contact page etc etc Th so that's a basic structure of a wordpress blog how we can create a blog using wordpress so here will it will be a demo okay so uh, for the demo uh, be just before demo uh, that we have to plan for what purpose we are creating a blog okay then second one is then we have to go to the website and register then we have to configure the basic settings then navigate the admin panel to understand what is there then we will uh, customize the look and feel and w then we will understand how we can publish on a wordpress blog just like uh, as a post or page etc and then we will uh, go to find out okay how we can connect with the uh, other uh, websites or how it can be shared with how we can grow our blog so uh, the basic plan will be okay just like see the plan of uh, for creating a blog first we have to identify for what purpose we are creating a blog here as an example i have taken we are going to create a blog for as a learning and resource uh, uh, site for physics for high school students that is a learning and resource blog on physics for high school students then the authorship the blog will be maintained by a single teacher as admin then what about the contents the contents will be the some there will be some static content and there will be some dynamic contents the static contents on a blog is considered as pages or we can create pages to put the static content and whereas we have to create post under different categories as dynamic content so here for this particular example i have taken the pages will be there will be three pages home page about page and contact page okay these pages will be static and uh, what about dynamic content because this blog is uh, basically on physics for high school students so i have created some categories under which we will add a lot of post so you can see that articles news cues curriculum resources useful websites images videos activities projects content assignments presentations bio sketches of scientists etc so as uh, according to your need you can create a lot of uh, categories under each category you can create post and these post will be published under these categories so there will be static content and dynamic content static contents are pages and dynamic contents are post then how we will update this uh, blog so there should be a weekly update there must be some updates regularly regular update should be there 
okay so we uh, have pixel that there will be weekly updates then as and when required then sharing and this blog will be public just like uh, you can also make the blog a private one but we are going to make this blog a public one and it will be shared with students and uh, through social media and we are proposing a name for this blog as physics for high school dot wordpress dot com this is a proposed title of our blog so now we are going to the demo so let us register a blog on wordpress first we have to visit the website wordpress dot com okay then you have to start your website this is the first step here you have to enter your email id then you have to choose a username okay then you have to choose a password then click on create your account so now uh, in the second step you have to find out or you have to fix a URL for your WordPress blog so we are trying to get an URL here it is for physics physics for high school students so we will check whether it is available or not okay okay you can see that uh, you have to just uh, manipulate uh, the URL then only you will get it so yes it's available so you can see that whenever we are entering a URL if it is available then it is uh, given here okay now you can find out physics for high school students 2020.wordpress.com is available so we are going to select you can see that uh, other uh, paid versions are also available but we are only going to select the free version then click on select so this is the third step here you have to pick a plan that's right for you here many four plans are available but we are not going to select a paid plan we are going with a free site so we have to check start with a free site okay now uh, the third step is over so we have we have just created a blog for our project okay now your site has been created first of all uh, we have to activate our website or the blog for that we have to go to our email account and there will be a mail from wordpress click on that here you can see that uh, please click the button below to confirm your email address and activate your account so click here to confirm now when you click there you have created a wordpress blog and uh, that is activated now you are coming back to this my site so here you can see that there on the top left you can see the my site reader write etc etc okay so now we are on my site the next step we are going to do is the configure the settings of our wordpress blog to configure the settings you have to uh, go to the left uh, sidebar where you can find out manage okay click on manage you will find out settings click on settings here you can find out uh, general settings performance settings writing settings and discussion settings now we are on general settings here you can change the title of your blog for example i am going to change the title of our blog as physics physics for high school that will be the title of our blog and i am just adding a site tagline physics for fun okay so i have taken i have added uh, the one site title uh, physics for high school and the site tagline as physics for fun and if you uh, if you would like to add a site icon that you can change that site icon here by uploading an image from your system okay 
then we when you when you go down you can find out site addresses physics for high school 2020.wordpress.com okay a language will be english that is the default language will be english if you want to change you can change it also okay different language options are also available you can change a different language okay nepali hindi marathi and many other languages are available okay so you can select a language okay now what is the default it is given as english then time zone so you can set your time zone also now it is default it is uh, it is kolkata okay then you can uh, when you go down you can find out some other options okay you can find out site tools that is change your site address register a new domain or change your site address so you can register a new domain and you can change the address of your site and delete your content keep your site's address and current theme but remove all post pages and media so you can start afresh then delete your site permanently that is these three tools are available you can change the address of your site the content because because you are only uh, deleting your content but you are not changing the site address but in other case you can if you want to delete it completely delete your site permanently that option is also available here so here you can see that launch site your site hasn't been launched yet it is hidden from visitors behind a coming zoom notice until it is launched so we have to launch the site okay just to click on launch site now we are going to understand the dashboard of uh, our wordpress blog to go to the dashboard you click on my site on my site on the left sidebar you can find out uh, wp admin click there now you are inside the dashboard of wordpress blog so on the left side you can find out a lot of options here when you click on uh, site stats this will give you the statistics about your site the number of visitors all time visitors views comments etc etc okay then you click on uh, my blogs you can find out how many blogs you have created using this particular email id here we have created one single blog okay if you want to create another blog using this uh, same email id you can do it here register another blog that is option for uh, registering a new blog using the same email id then when you go down you can find out different options that is uh, first one is a post so here you can find out how many posts so far there in your blog these are some default posts which are available okay so this is uh, coming these posts are coming along with the wordpress itself so if you want you can keep it otherwise you can delete it i am just going to delete all these posts which is uh, which are available as a default option okay you can just delete from uh, from it here move to trash so there is there are no post available in our blog now okay so when you go down you can find out post all post add new categories okay when you click on categories you can find out the different categories available on our blog now there is not a single category one uncategorized uh, default category is available since we have already planned what are the categories we need we can add some categories here first uh, now we are going to create two categories the first one is uh, regarding scientist okay that will be a category so just to click add new category the name of the category will be scientist and the second one we will have another category that is inventions okay so just to click on add new category so we have added two new categories here first one is inventions second one scientist okay so just leave it there then uh, go to the next option available okay media 
so you can find a media option media library is there when you click on media library you can find out the things available in your media library these two images these are two default images available in your media library if you want to add some more images you can add by clicking here add new okay the space provided by wordpress is 3 gb okay 3 gb space is given by wordpress so considering that fact you can add a lot of images in your media library then when you go to the an another option that is links when you click on there you can find out some default links available along with the wordpress okay if you want to keep all these links you can otherwise you can delete it i am just going to delete all these links available as a default option along with the wordpress now there is uh, no link available on our blog you can add some new links there okay for example i want to add a new link add new click here add new because i have already uh, found some important some useful links so i have so i have uh, i have uh, been uh, taking these links from okay from here useful website link that is well that's a link title is given as well from alpha the name of the link will be this then web address what will be the web address so i have taken i have already organized i have collected some uh, web links so you can see these links here okay add new link so here also just like uh, we are creating separate categories for post for links also you can create separate categories so i am going to add a new category useful links okay i decided so i have added this uh, website okay from uh, dot com with this web address under this category useful links if I want to add one more add new okay so you can add one more for example uh, physics dot org just give the name there then web address okay i am selecting the same uh, the link category for this also then add link so we have added two links under this uh, useful link category okay then you go to the another option which is available pages here you can see the pages okay you can find out how many pages are already there for example if you are clicking on all pages you can find out the pages already added okay on your blog that is first page is about page second page is a blog page third one contact page and home page this home page will be different page okay if you want to add something more if you want to create another uh, page you can do it now okay then you can create a new page by using this option add new As we have already uh, discussed that the all pages are static okay if you want to create a static page you can create one these about page contact page and home page these are static pages that we have created okay then another option available is the uh, comments okay so if somebody comments on your post or page that will appear here first okay you can approve or you can disapprove that comment if when you approve it then only it will come on public domain or it will come uh, it will be published on your uh, along with your post or page that is a comment option available and uh, under that you can find out appearance an appearance uh, which decides the design or the template of your uh, wordpress blog you can find out themes okay so a lot of themes are available with wordpress you can select one 
then you can customize that particular theme you can add some widgets widgets are some uh, small uh, mm, small codes which you can use to add some uh, uh, added things okay then menus okay so you can uh, customize all these things here using this uh, themes customize uh, widgets and menus option available here and under that you can find out uses when you click on all uses you can find out who is uh, the administrator of this particular blog and if you are an administrator you can invite other people okay you can invite other people uh, to be uh, to collaborate with your blog for example if you are clicking on invite new okay invite people to follow your site or help you to manage it when you click on invite you can find out okay if you want to add a teacher as a collaborator with you if you want to add a teacher as an editor or author or contributor to your blog then you can decide you can uh, add just email id of that particular teacher here then you can fix the role it can be an editor okay an author a contributor okay and then after that you can just uh, adding after adding a custom message you can send the invitation so that teacher can join as a collaborator or as a contributor as an editor or author okay in your blog so that is the settings available okay so that is a uh, wordpress admin dashboard then then another option is available that is tools that is tools you can find out available tools here okay you can import or export the content of this blog okay you can export the content if you want to export the content export the content export all text content pages post feedbacks from your site okay for example if you want to convert if you want to uh, take all the content of your blog and if you want to create another blog or another website using this content you can use this option that is export content and uh, if you want to uh, export the media that is images videos and audio and documents from your blog you can use the second option that is export media library okay so these are the uh, options available with uh, Word, wordpress admin dashboard please customize the look and feel okay to customize the look and feel of our blog we have to select a template or a theme okay when you click on my site page you can find our design under design you can find out customize and themes now we are going to select a theme for our blog just to click on themes you can find out a number of beautiful themes or uh, okay and from that you can select any theme so when you click on uh, show all themes option you can find out three options so you can find out premium themes where you have to pay uh, for that theme and uh, another one is the free themes a lot of wonderful free themes are available with wordpress when you click on free free themes you can find out a list of themes available okay as per your need you can select any theme and uh, some search options are also provided there as per the feature as per the layout and as per columns okay you can select the themes for example if i am going to find out a uh, column wise theme here it is uh, four column left side bar one column right side bar three columns etc if I am going to select a one a left side bar theme you just uh, click on left side bar you can find out a lot of themes which are available okay as a sample we are going to select this theme that is 2011 okay when you click on uh, this theme image you can find out the information regarding this particular theme okay here you can find out three dots when you click on these three dots you can find out a live demo of this theme you can activate you can try and customize okay 
I am just going to activate it. When you are activating this particular theme, you will uh, find out a customize site option. Click on that option. Okay. Now we are going to customize this theme for our blog. Okay. So this is live customization. You can see uh, in WordPress here on the left side you can work on the same time you can find out what is happening on your page here you can see the site added identity when you click on site identity you can uh, see the site title if you want to change the site title you can do it here and if you want to change the tagline you can also do it here okay it will automatically come over here okay here another option is a display site title and tagline if you want to display it you can do if you don't want to display the site title and tagline that also you can do with this option okay if you want to upload a site icon that also you can do under this section after that just save the changes okay then go back the second option is color and background here a lot of backgrounds are available if you want to select this one your site will appear just like this if you're taking this your site will appear just like this okay any color you you can select for the background if i'm selecting this one for example i am select i have selected this okay this background for my site it will be just like this okay and after that just save the changes okay it is saved then go to the layout option is available the content on left content on right one column no sidebar content on left means the content will be on the left of the block okay i have taken this content on left option which is already there it will be i will show you how it will work okay it is already saved then you can select the font font for your headings okay if you want to change the font of your headings you can do it here for example you can see this i have taken this one you can change the uh, size of your font okay it can be large normal it can be large or normal small huge size can also be selected okay then base font is the text font okay you can also change that base font so after that you can just you have to just save it save the changes then go back <laughs> then another option another beautiful option available here is to change the header image okay here on the after this fonts you can find out the header image when you click on header image two options are available you can add a new image as a he as your header or otherwise there are some images which are already available that also you can select so these are the images already available if you want to add a new image you can select it okay here the header size options are available 1000 in 288 pixels that is the uh, dimension of this particular header if you want to add a new image just to click here okay if it is available in your media library it is already two images are available if you want to add a new image select so you can upload an image from your system okay if i want to add this image then select it okay then select and crop so you can increase the height of this uh, header image here if you want to increase the height you can do it otherwise you can use the default height of your header image okay then click on crop image then the header of your blog will be changed you can also add another image okay and you can rotate it 
you can randomize the uploaded headers it means that whenever somebody is refreshing your page a different image will be appear as a header okay then save changes so it is saved okay so what we have done we have uh, given the title a uh, tagline we have changed the background color we have changed the header image and after that we have to do we have to change the menus menus are nothing you can see here home blog about contact these are the pages the pages available which is uh, set as menu of this particular blog if you want to change these menus you can do it here okay here under this menu option click here you can find out a primary menu so whatever things available here you can see here if you want to change it you can do it for example if you want to take this home menu you can take this contact menu here okay whatever things you are doing here it will appear here also you can add menu for example if you want to add something categories post tags formats etc you can add a custom link also okay if you want to add the uh, image means you uh, and add the URL of your institution that also you can add as a custom link here into the menu okay so these are the static menu available here you can change according to your need so then after that one important uh, settings available that is home page settings normally in a blog the latest post will appear on the home page and uh, the latest post will be considered as the home page of the uh, your blog if you want to create a blog as a website you can make a particular page as a home page okay in our case we are going to change the latest post as our home page here you can see your latest post I have changed the home page displays as your latest post then after that I am just saving it so these are the customization options available here and after that you can see that widgets after menus you can find out widgets widgets are nothing that you are just adding some additional uh, functionalities on your sidebar okay when you want to add something for example some text or some images or some galleries etc that you can do with the widgets to find out the widgets you have to just uh, click on the widgets okay main sidebar is this this area is known as the main sidebar okay when you wa want to add something here you can take this uh, option that is main sidebar here nothing is there so far then you can add a widget a lot of widgets are available here if you want to add some text you can add a text widgets for example this one here for example we are going to add a welcome okay welcome to this to this blog for students who are interested in physics so you can see this here welcome the text widgets we have added okay and after that is done then if you want to add another widget for example we have already added some uh, links so if you want to add a link widget you can take this link from here so here you can see a link category option useful links that we have already added so we are going to take that links from there to this main page so we just uh, select that useful link option from here okay then done that the links will appear here so 
then you can if you want to add categories widgets okay then add a widget then another option is uh, categories categories okay then the categories will appear here we have added two categories already when we add some post that category will appear here okay then one more category we can add is reason post one more uh, widget we can add is reason post it means that whenever somebody is visiting your blog they can find out whatever th what are the uh, post uh, which was uh, recently updated so we have to find out recent post okay so the la the latest five post links will appear inside this widget okay so after that i'm going to save this so we have customized our uh, blog okay now our blog appears just like this the t with the title tagline header then menu uh, options menus then on the right side you can find out the widgets one text widget one link widgets and uh, one category widgets we have added okay and in the center you can find out the first post this is a default post that we will change when we are going to publish something so these are the options available for the customization of our blog so this is the uh, blog we have just created so you can see the title uh, tagline header then uh, four pages here and after that you can for you can find nothing because uh, we have not published anything so far so now we are going to create a post which will appear here on the right side you can see the widgets that's the sidebar okay here nothing is, is found so we are going to create a post which will appear here in this section how it can be created so to create a post we have to go again to my site when you go to my site you can find out on the site option you can find out pages post media comments feedback etc on the right side also you can find out write okay just to click on write so you will get a block editor which will help you to create a page or a post this is the editor where we can create a post first we are going to create a post here you have to add a title and just copying things that we we have already collected so we are taking the title as albert einstein the title of this post will be albert einstein here you can see a block editor when you click on here you can find out you have to add blocks so you can find out different blocks along with it some details what are they okay so you have to add blocks from these blocks available when you click on here paragraphs you can find out starts with the building block okay so you can add contact information you can add uh, text okay then you can add a quote you can add an image here you can find out what is uh, the image that is image insert and image to make visual statement gallery you can add audio file you can add a video okay so a lot of 
blocks are available which you can include you can include a widget in the inside the post also so you can include categories you can add social icons okay you can embed things or the post from website from other websites external websites facebook twitter youtube etc so a lot of options are available here to create a post we are just simply using some basics uh, basic patterns available or basic blocks available first one is we are going to take a paragraph okay text block in the text block one paragraph is available so you have taken the paragraph block here you can type I am just copying some uh, textual matter for the purpose okay so I have created a post with the title Albert Einstein so after that you can see okay so title will be Albert Einstein this is the textual matter and a link is already given if you want to uh, add something for example if you want to add an image in between this textual matter you have to just uh, click here okay if you want to add an image in between these uh, these uh, two text blocks okay insert the cursor here then click on add block then select image okay then you can upload the image from your system for example I am just taking this image from my system so it will appear just like this so you can increase the size and reduce the size using this option you can give a caption also okay so now we have added one title some textual material then one image then a link also if you want to uh, create another link you can select the textual matter from here and here options are available you can make it bold okay you can uh, give a create a hyperlink from here okay where you have to insert the link okay so these are the options available it is just simply a um, word editor along with a lot of capabilities so now after that after adding this content here one document option is available click on document here you can see stick to the top of the blog it means if you are checking uh, this one this option so this blog post will be on the top of the blog okay then you can find out the categories here we have to include this post into a category so this Albert Einstein post will be coming under the scientist category so I have taken this scientist category have selected this scientist category for this particular post if you want to add some button or some tags also some tags means some keywords related to this post also that also you can add here so if you want to make this uh, visibility okay you can make this uh, post as a private one and it's a password protected one and a public one so we have taken the public visibility so another option is available publish so immediately you can publish it for example if you are selecting this one it will be published as soon as otherwise okay you can select you can schedule this post for a future date okay date and time you can select okay for next month or whatever so you can select the date and time whenever you want to publish it in future so now I am going to publish okay these are the basic settings so you can explore with uh, other uh, blocks available to create a post now I am just uh, publishing it click on publish post will be published you can view that post 
okay see this one physics for high school the post is appeared here this post was uh, just simply created by us so it was posted on this date the title is given image is there then it is the default sharing options are also available okay okay when you click on uh, this home page you can find out the Okay, this is the page, this is the post that we have just created. So this is a post uh, that uh, you can see on the home page. So our blog uh, lo looks like this. So our blog looks like this now so you can see the title a uh, tagline header then three static pages then one post that we have just up, uh, updated then you can see the welcome message then useful links widgets categories li widgets then recent post if you want to add a new post you can do it again using this option on the right that is right so on the home page you can find out the two posts we have added just now the first one is this one that is uh, on Albert Einstein and second one this one so you can see that the latest post will appear on the top of the page so this is the basic feature of a blog okay so on the right side you can see the categories then recent post and useful links are also given okay so that is how we can create a post in the case of pages you can see three pages are already there if you want to change the content of a page you have to just it's a default pages are already there you just go to that page and edit okay use the edit option available there and edit the content and if you want to edit that content the about page Okay, you can add something uh, on the about page there. Okay. You can change the content. You can delete it, you can change the content. For example, a block for students to learn physics. Okay. okay after that you can here also you can change the document settings permanent link is there featured image you can add you can add an image or whatever things you want here and, and after that you just update it the about page will be updated okay so here you can find out three pages home about and contact in the contact page you can include your contact details the teachers contact details and other things where if somebody wants to contact you, you can use that contact form also on that page. So this is a blog that uh, we have just uh, created. So now we are going to uh, make our blog popular. So how it can be done? So we have published a post and a page now we are going to connect our file, our wordpress account with other social media accounts to make it more popular how it can be done so for that you have to visit the my site again and from there you will get a an option tools okay in tools you can find out marketing 
here from this you can take uh, connections here you can find out the options available Facebook Twitter LinkedIn Tumblr Google photos etc etc so if you want to connect your Facebook page or Twitter account with this particular blog you can use this option okay Facebook Twitter LinkedIn and Tumblr it means that whenever you are posting something on your WordPress blog it will automatically update your Facebook page or Twitter account so that is to make your post or make your blog popular so that is option available to make your blog popular and you will get a lot of connections whenever there is no need to update every time whenever you are updating your blog your page your Facebook page there is no need to update your Facebook or Twitter pages so when you have integrated your Facebook or Twitter pages with your WordPress account it means that whenever you are updating something on your WordPress account it will automatically uh, means uh, posted on your Facebook or Twitter pages so that is the option available to increase the popularity of your blog which means that you can get more connections you can create more links or uh, your post or pages will be shared more so that is the option available to market or publicize your content so another option available is uh, sharing buttons when you click on sharing buttons so you are allowing your readers to easily share your post with others by adding sharing buttons throughout your site okay so you can see the share this option is available here so you can include the available sharing options okay from this so it means that these buttons will come along with your post by clicking on that buttons anybody can share your post with others that is the sharing options available okay so so now we have created a basic blog using uh, WordPress uh, we have added uh, uh, some post and uh, some pages we have created categories and uh, so you can see this uh, blog okay in teaching and learning Blogs can be used in teaching and learning as an information or resource sharing tool where you can add your announcements, assignments and materials which can be shared with your students and co-teachers. So it can be also used as an open and free publishing platform where you can create e-magazines, diaries, journals and newsletters which can be used as to showcase your students creative contents and blogs can also be used as a collaborative learning medium where you can invite other students invite your students so how blogs can be used in teaching and learning so blogs can be used in teaching and learning as an information or resource sharing tool where uh, a teacher can put or post the announcements regarding this classroom activities and uh, he or she can add assignments and materials which can be shared with the students and other teachers blogs can be used as an open and free publishing platform where you can create e magazines diaries journals and newsletters and it can also be used as a tool for collaboration that is you can invite the core teachers and students to be part of your project and you can create you can together collaborate and uh, learn things using a uh, group projects and classroom blogs okay you can create collaboratively you can create content on a blogging platform here I am giving you some three examples this one first one that is library at Kendri Vidyalaya Lai Patan blog where we have been using this blog for the last many years to share resources with our students and teachers so so far it got more than 7.6 million hits so a lot of resources are available on this uh, blog videos and uh, study materials and curriculum based resources etc are put on this blog the another blog you can see is, is KV Patam e-magazine where it is a blog is uh, uh, designed as an e-magazine where you can see the creative contents poetry short stories articles experiences book reviews etc by our students so we are using this blog as a medium to showcase the creative talent of our students and along with a publishing platform for our school activities 
the another tool which is used by your school is that homeworks and assignments online this block is a collaborative learning tool where teachers are adding the homeworks and assignments and many other uh, materials or projects okay which can be downloaded by the students and used whenever they are not in the classrooms that is it is giving a 24 into 7 access to school homeworks and assignments so a lot of uh, teachers are collaborating for this project it is homeworks and assignments online so these three examples which will prove that blocks can be very effectively used in teaching and learning so these are the three examples i have shown you so how to have a live blog that is the final question we are having uh, in this presentation that is uh, to have a very good or popular blog you have to create a relevant and quality content okay the content should be relevant and the quality you have to maintain the quality also quality of the content then you have to update the blog regularly there should be regular updation if the updation is not there the, l the blog is dead okay then you have to use images links and videos links and videos and images the the this will be shared most and uh, your blog will be shared your blog will be linked with other websites and blogs it will be shared in social media platforms etc and in that way your blog will be more popular and you have to share your content whenever you are adding something share uh, or integrate with other platforms you are having and share your content then evaluate and improve in between you have to sit and find out the things which are uh, wrong uh, on your blog and uh, the ways where you can improve the content you have to take feedback from the visitors from the users okay from the students and uh, make it more perfect so we have completed this session the recap of the session is uh, actually we uh, learned about the basic concepts of blogging we learned about uh, wordpress and uh, we have a demo on how to create a blog and how it can be used in teaching and learning and how to keep your blog alive so i feel that uh, we have discussed the basic things uh, regarding blogging and uh, I'm sure that uh, you will be benefited by this session. Thank you.